What's going guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's your boy Race Blaze. If you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe to all that great stuff. All right, yo, so in this video, I want to explain how I was able to crack the MetaHuman. Now, what I mean by crack is like, um, I actually developed my own uh, control rig for the face because, um, for example, anytime I use the Apple AR kit and I live stream into Unreal Engine, I do see a lot of lagging and uh, the flow of the animation is just terrible. As you can see on the screen, you know, there's a little bit of pause and break just because of the Wi-Fi connection. So I said, you know, I can't do this anymore. You know, and that's why I haven't been using MetaHuman, to be honest. But now I figured out a way to actually import FBX mocap data from your Apple iPhone and bring it into Unreal Engine and apply it to the MetaHuman easily and it works accurately. And you have that smooth flow animation because we're not using Wi-Fi, obviously. So I'm going to show you guys how it works. And um, I'm going to be selling it for $100 because I spent, you know, four days trying to figure this out. So, you know, it's a, it's a, it was a huge work for me. And, um, you know, I, I think this will be beneficial for most 3D artists that are trying to make cinematics and also use the management. Okay, so we have our character here. Um, I'm going to show you guys um, the, the control rig I actually made. So... So this is the MetaHuman Control Rig template. I'm gonna open it up here. So pretty much you can see that um, I've actually, you know, created all the controls, you know, um, so it'd be easy for you to adju make adjustments, right? Now, for some reason, it doesn't really move on the viewport here. I don't know why, but when you actually apply it in the, in the, in the sequencer, it, it actually work. So let me show you here. I actually created the forward serve and the backward serve as well. So this was tons of work because MetaHuman, the way they actually, you know, created the whole rig is very different from the way I do it. You know, there's multiple, you know, bones that are doing different things. So I actually figured out what is actually working. And we're going to test this, obviously. So pretty much the backward serve is done. And likewise, the forward serve. So you can also bake animation and manipulate. So I, I think this is a really huge win for anyone who is willing to keep using the MetaHuman. Okay, so let me show you guys how it works actually. So pretty much, um, I'm gonna copy this, okay? And then go to our character here. I'm gonna paste this here. We, you can actually rename this, we just call it Robert Face Rig, right? And so we're gonna double click. So pretty much we want to go to the preview scene and change this to Roberts. Yeah. And as you see, the whole control rig adjusted properly. Everything is all in the accurate spot. So we don't even have to adjust anything. So that's the good thing about this uh, uh, control rig. So I just compile and that's it. So now let me bring in my sequencer here. Um, pretty much. I am going to import our character into the sequencer. Good. So we don't need the body yet. Um, you can actually delete this control board rig because we're not using that. So now I'm going to go to track and uh, pretty much just go to my control rig, asset base, then Robert face rig. So when we click that, you can see that we have everything. We have all our controls, so if we move this, it actually moves. You know, it's really, really in impressive. Like, everything is just there for you. Right? So, yes. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, that's what I figured out how to do. So, now I'm going to show you guys how to actually, you know, bring in your FBX mocap data. Um, pretty much, I do have um, a lot of um, phase mocap that I brought in. And uh, we're going to use this one. So pretty much if you guys get this meta human control rig, I'm also going to be adding, uh, you know, the, 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 the control rig for the actual, um, like the Apple iPhone Air Kit, you know, a control rig as well, because we'll need that for this to work. So basically I'm going to delete this. So this is just like the animation, right? So you import that as FBX and then um, let's, let's, Put this here, and now I'm gonna go to bake, bake to control rig here.
and that's pretty much big and so I'm just gonna go ahead to copy all these frames so we're gonna copy that and then we're gonna go to our character here and just paste so pretty much everything is there and um, let's test this out want to hide the manipulators So you can see that it works really smooth like you know there is no wi-fi connection we're not live streaming it so it's uh it's very impressive to be honest like it works really good like you know So um, I'm going to pause the animation here, <laughs> I don't know what it's doing there, but um, now I'm going to show you guys how you can also manipulate, you know, the the animation. So I'm just going to go to, because we have the backward self, right, let's just go to an interesting spot where it's talking, like maybe, maybe like this, yeah, let's do it like that, let me bring back the manipulators. So I'm going to go to addictive, right, pretty much. So pretty much we can just drag this everywhere if we want and then key this section so now if i want my character to maybe smile a little bit while he's talking that can happen as you can see we have our character you know smiling so this is impressive because you can just easily either adjust the animation or you know make some tweaks and all that actually not that let's just raise the eyebrow like that right so ladies and gentlemen this is a very huge step up because now you we we can't be able to use the metahuman properly by importing the face mocap fbx into our range so yeah this is the result i have for you guys and um i'm pretty happy that it actually worked and it paid off you know so um i am going to be um i'm going to keep exploring this to be honest and let me know if you guys want also the 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 body rig as well i don't really i don't think we need the body rig you know just because their body rig is pretty good so i don't think i need to do anything about that but mostly it was the face i was worried about but this works pretty good so i am excited to sell it and by the way if you guys want it please send your request i'm selling for a hundred dollars and uh, let me know if you guys have any questions all right and um just before i leave off you know um you know some people actually ask because i've watched other videos people say you know they they, they bought this face wear um technology which is five thousand dollars i mean for indie gamers we don't have five thousand dollars right so it's better to have the apple iphone no cap you know and, and you know it's pretty accurate it captures you know the the face properly so i i, I don't really mind you know and another thing i have to say is that i actually um added the tongue movement as well so you really don't have to worry about tongue moving because uh you know the the the, the actual meta human uh control rig it doesn't really move the tongue you have to do it manually but i actually implemented that you know i just started the way we talk and then you know anytime we move our lips in a certain way the tongue actually goes up so yeah anyways i'm glad this worked and um i'll see you guys in the next video let me know in the comments what you guys think and please send your request thank you and have a nice day bye